going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. So I've been sent another product to review. It's a smartphone video kit. If you're looking for a decent quality YouTube kit for your smartphone, including a mic, then watch this video because it might help you in your decision making when it comes to choosing a product that is decent for you to use. So before we get into the review and the unboxing, I just want to quickly shout out my two new subscribers, Angela Mooney and Jordan the Kid. Thank you both for hitting that subscribe button, it's much appreciated. Thanks for being a part of the community. Oh, just quickly as well, close to 10k, so when I hit that 10k, it's going to be like a special giveaway, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Could be a lucky winner. Decent prizes and all that good stuff. Favourite comment for this week is coming from Lo-Fi Weekly. Appreciate your comment, bro. And what's good about the comment as well is just when you're doing music, you have to be open-minded, you have to understand that certain things that can be done in one door. That would mean you're restricted from trying it in your own door. So that's a decent mindset to have, bro. We've got them out of the way. Let's dive into this video. So we've got the few flex. Comes nicely boxed. And on the back, it says, main features, support horizontal and vertical shooting, rotatable smartphone clamp for better shooting, loading up to 3.5 kilograms for stable usage, aluminum alloy made clamp, solid and durable, professional mic cardio pattern, support extended connection, flexible combination, which is really cool, I like that. Box nice and neatly, compact box, which is good. Ain't gonna take up too much space if you're trying to store it. Instructions, it tells you how to set it all up. So if you ever get stuck, then just refer to that. Nice little carry case that it comes with, lovely. Says Viewflex on there as well, which is cool. It's got like a, a velour type of finish to it. Good quality, seems cool. Got your standard dead cat, decent size. Windshield, pop shield, to so stop the plosives. So we've got the tripod, which is quite, the quality feels quite good. It's plastic, which is not a bad thing. Red and black, nice finish to it. Got some nice rubber pads on it at the bottom. So when you put it onto your desktop, it's not gonna scratch your surface and just adds like a nice touch to it as well. Which is cool, I like that. It's small and compact as well. I only see one cable. So that end will go into your phone and that will go into the mic. Shock absorber. It feels quite flimsy, but at the same time, I think the flimsiness will help to absorb shock. So yeah, hopefully you won't get too much banging around and rustling when you're recording. So this is what you clamp your, your phone into. That wasn't easy to get out of the box. I had to take, push it from behind the box, underneath the box to get it out. But it's cool because it's got like a little lever thing where you can get some angles going if that's what you want to do. It feels quite stiff as well. And there's a little screw point here. So I'm thinking if it starts to get a bit loose, then you can just screw that tire. But that's a nice little touch. It feels well made, it's sturdy, feels good quality, premium. It's, it's an aluminium finish with some soft pads there. So you, when your phone's in there, it's just, it's cushioned rather than being straight on the aluminium, which might cause it to scratch or something like that. Little twist button at the back so you can change it from horizontal to vertical, which is cool when you're doing your TikTok videos and your reels. Nice, again, it's got the red to match the tripod. So if red and black show your colours, then this is gonna be perfect for you, ideal. So we've got the mic, standard shotgun mic, feels good quality, made well. Viewflex logo on there as well. I'm just gonna plug this in now just to see how it sounds. I'm also gonna go outside just to see how, so you can hear how good this mic is with the windshield on and then without the microphone. So I'm just gonna quickly plug this microphone in and we'll hear how different it sounds. So I've plugged the Viewflex microphone in now. Can you hear the difference? What do you think? I'm gonna drop the audio into Logic so I can analyze how good it sounds compared to the Comica mic. While I'm analyzing in Logic, take a listen to how it sounds outside. Right, so I'm outside, two people about, and this is without the microphone on. So I'm just gonna plug the microphone in now and see how that sounds, see if there's a big difference. 
So microphone on, windshield, windshield on, because that makes more sense really, because there's no point being out here with the, uh, the mic on and, and no windshield. So can you tell the difference with the microphone in and then the microphone without? I'm gonna take the microphone out again. And that's the microphone from the iPhone. The street's not that busy. A few people walking up and down and that. Not specifically this microphone, but some of the microphones that I've used, I noticed that there's dropouts, like a lot of interference. So I'm hoping when I listen back to this in the studio, there won't be any dropouts and it'll just be cool and better to listen to it like normal. But yeah, let me know what you think. Drop a comment below, let me know what you think. I'm hoping that this would be a decent mic. The setup, the build quality, feels quite sturdy, does the job, it's cool. Back to the studio. So I've listened back to the recordings and I feel like I say this all the time, but I'm that really impressed with how the mic sounds. So it seems like every review that I do, the mic seem to be getting better and better. I hope that's the way forward. I feel like I prefer the sound of this Viewflex mic and what you heard just now with me being outside, there was no, no processing on actual recordings. It was just raw. Whereas now recordings are being processed and I, and I know like I'm inside the studio, it is quite dead sounding, but there's also like a, a lot of room, the room sound as well, which I try to EQ out and I feel like it starts to get a bit messy when you're notching out too much frequency. So with, with the recordings outside, you can tell with the iPhone mic, it's picking up a lot of the surround sound and when it got a bit windy, you could hear the wind start to come through. You'd hear the sound of the wind, which is, isn't cool. I don't really want that, it's a bit muffled. When I put the Viewflex mic on, you can hear how directional it is. Could hear a bit of the background noise, but it wasn't that bad. It still it picked up my voice nice and clear. And even though the iPhone mics, they still sound good. But apart from the, all the background noise, then the Viewflex is the way forward or a shotgun directional mic. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how easy it is to set up this multifunctional smartphone video kit, VFK2. We just got a little screw there, screw point, we screw that in, twist that in place, nice and simple, quick. I need a phone, one second. So we've got a phone, courtesy of the wife. <laughs> Slot that in there, nice and wide. So if you've got one of them big phones that looks like a tablet, then you might be able to, to work with that. Then we've got the slide point where we can just slide the mic on. The hot shoe, twist that on. You're gonna need, I think it's, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's the uh, lightning adapter for, the, for your iPhone. So if you've got that, that pull, you're gonna need a little adapter. So apart from that, we're good to go. The angles that you can change, which is, which I love about this. You can have it just straight on. I'm, I'm definitely gonna be out using this a lot more, this tripod here. Like I'm using this uh, Sony A5000 on the tripod and the mic's plugged into the iPhone. And it's a nice little setup that I've got at the moment. I'm definitely gonna be using this mic more, but what I think I would be doing as well is if I'm just on the go and trying to get something done quickly, then I'm gonna use this. Whereas what I've got set up here is a bit finicky and a bit too much to try and screw off and yeah, but this, this setup's lovely, I like it. So cool. If I was just starting making my YouTube videos, then that kit there is definitely something that I would look into. There's so much choice out there and it can be hard to find something decent. Yeah, I like it. Decent microphone, nice tripod, the different angles that you can use on there. And even if it wasn't feeling the quality of the microphone, you can always swap that out. It's not a problem. So I hope this review has helped you. If it's something you're interested in, hit the link, the, the product link, don't worry. Even though it's an affiliate link, it doesn't cost you any extra, it just helps. Helps me with my YouTube channel and help it to grow. If you want to see more videos like this, there's other product reviews that I've done, whole playlist full of them. If you want to connect with me on Insta, feel free to connect. I'll show you behind the scenes or me in the studio, cooking up beats or working on artist mixes. If you like this video at all, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well because you don't want to miss out on any future videos. As per usual, appreciate your time.